Maintaining and upgrading our infrastructure is key to keeping our neighborhoods attractive and our home value stable. It's also a critical factor for businesses seeking to relocate to Franklin Park or to expand their operations here. The villages work closely with a variety of county, state, and federal agencies, our state and federal legislators, and our neighboring communities to identify grant funding opportunities. And I'm proud to report that these efforts have resulted in the village of Franklin Park receiving over $86 million in grant funds for infrastructure projects and other improvements since 2009. Grant money funds projects that keep our village safe, attractive, and thriving. Most importantly, grant funding supports critical projects while lessening our dependence on property taxes. As we enter the new year, I'd like to highlight some projects from 2023. Many of these projects were supported with grant funding. Our downtown improvements along Franklin Avenue have improved safety and accessibility while we further beautify the area. These improvements include new bump outs to protect pedestrians, designed concrete, seasonal planters, new trash cans, and bike racks. These improvements will help us attract new businesses and visitors to the downtown area. Now, I'm gonna throw it over to Nick, our Community Development Director, who's going to update us on the exciting changes at the Franklin Park Marketplace. The four-story, 110-room Wyndham Garden Hotel is on schedule to be completed in the fall of 2024 and will bring additional revenue and visitors to Franklin Park. Adjacent to the new hotel, the village is building a new interior roadway connecting Grand Avenue to the Franklin Marketplace. As part of this new road configuration, two new retail pads were created to allow us to attract additional commercial tenants. The project also includes new sidewalks throughout the area and will feature attractive and sustainable landscaping. Back to you, Mayor. We've all been there. A long train is stalled and you sit in your idling car waiting for what seems to be an eternity. These stoppages are not just inconvenient, they're extremely dangerous, causing motorists to turn around and sometimes cause accidents or damaging property. They also cause pedestrians, including school children, to make dangerous decisions about climbing under stopped trains. In June of last year, the U.S. Department of Transportation's Federal Railroad Administration awarded the village with $8 million in funding to design safer rail crossings for drivers and pedestrians while reducing the negative impact of freight movement. To tell us more is our village engineer, Tom McCabe. The funding will support an engineering study to conduct a grade separation of the Canadian Pacific and Kansas City Southern Railway tracks that cross through Franklin Park. The study will look at closing some of the crossings and the feasibility of building an underpass to reduce conflicts between train and car traffic in the middle of the village. Train-related congestion is an especially pressing issue for emergency service vehicles that currently have no choice but to go around blocked off crossings. This funding will support the first step in fixing the issue of stopped trains, and hopefully we will continue to make progress regarding this issue. Speaking of trains, I hope you've noticed far fewer train torns lately, and that's because Franklin Park, along with the village of River Grove, received a quiet zone designation in October. This designation eliminated most of the sounding of train horns in Franklin Park, unless the conductor sees a dangerous situation on or near the tracks. That's right, it is much quieter here now. The village completed $1.2 million in safety upgrades to qualify for this critical designation by utilizing an IDOT rail safety grant. The grant supported improvements to the sidewalks and roadways near the metro station, including pedestrian gates and traffic control devices that regulate traffic at the crossings. I live near the train tracks, and I'm happy to report that I have not heard as many train horns, and that has definitely helped me sleep better. The village received a $270,000 green infrastructure grant from the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District to improve the safety and appearance of the industrial area along Pacific Avenue from Hawthorne to Dora Street. Asphalt was removed and new landscaping was added. Sidewalks are now usable and the work ensures that vehicles do not block traffic or illegally block the right of way. The most important aspect of the work 
included the installation of rain gardens, which capture and hold rainwater after storms. This will result in fewer flooded streets and basements throughout Franklin Park. In addition, we will continue to work with our government partners to secure additional grant funds to invest in our neighborhoods and business corridors. I look forward to updating you on these and other projects over the next several years.